you would follow these steps and it is a perfect base formula on how to make sure you can get your product, your service, or your video for all you YouTubers out there uh, to go viral and get seen and gain reach. And so in the first three series that we've done, or the first three episodes of the series, we talked about the first two of those laws. And right now we're going to dive into the third one. That's going to go over the final steps of how to make sure to get your product or service out into the general public to make sure it gains traction and goes wild. So I guess recapping. So the very first law or yeah, rule, I guess, of an epidemic spreading is that you have the power of a few yes. and that just a few people can ignite something, mm -hmm. but they do have to be the right type of people and that's where he dug into the yeah. connector and then the maven and, the, and then the salesperson yes and so a maven is someone who has a lot of information they're not necessarily trying to sell you anything but they are inundating you with a bunch of information with the purpose of helping you with the purpose of helping that's that again could be those are influencers but those are the influencers that you know they do unboxing or they're sitting there sharing you technical data yep. about a phone or yep. a computer or they're just sell they're they are they are educating you with a lot of technical stuff. In a part, you and I, we discussed that. I think Sage Consultants is a the bit maven. of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're mavens in the fact that- acquired information through experience too. Yeah, I mean, that's right. and we just want to share to help. And help. And mm -hmm. so that would be considered a maven. And then he talks about a salesperson, salesperson. which is- Absolutely. Sell, sounds exactly what it is. They're it selling is. you. They're persuading you into a sale. But I really like how he explains a salesperson is not just the title, it's that certain panache that they have that really understands the customer and can pivot quickly to the customers. He uses the phrase nonverbal cues and it's so yeah. true. I think a salesperson's really in tune with a lot of um, psychological stuff. You Absolutely. Know? They are very intuitive people and they can kind of read the, read room, the room real mm -hmm. easy. And so that that's a natural salesperson. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I think he nailed it when he talked about a law of the few, he nailed it on that. If you can find those, those key people, they will spread the word for you, for your business. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, let's keep in mind now, you know, social media influencers, you can for a price, you know, leverage their audience and reach, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, there's a lot of different options with people. So you find your connectors Yeah. and don't be afraid to reach out oh, yeah. to connectors. Like send them an email, send them a DM. You never know who's at the right point at the right time willing well, to I, listen. I like it because he talks about that, that connectors and mavens and salespeople are typically willing to help you. They So by calling them, you're you're not disturbing them. You're not bothering them. They're actually open and welcoming to your call. Mm -hmm. I love how he talked about that because I'm, I'm married to one. And for sure, if someone were to call him out of the blue, he's not like, Oh my God, they're calling me. No, he's actually happy. Hey, this person's calling me and he'll <laughs> pick up the phone, you know? So don't think you're bothering them because they're actually looking forward to your call. So the third part and his third law is the power of context. So keep yeah. in mind, he's writing this whole book from the perspective of how do epidemics spread? Because if you can follow that pathway, then that's what can make your business concept item products spread. Yeah. Right. So the power of context. So Malcolm's statistic driven here. Uh huh. I dare say maybe a maven. He may be a maven. He may be a maven. Yeah. yeah he's very, very technical. Yeah. He likes his data. Yeah. Anyways, um, he says that really. 150 people is a tipping point number. I love that. He yes. said that. Yes. I so that. when you think about growing your business or growing your reach, yeah. you know, you'll find your first zero to 100 to 150 followers are like a tight knit group yeah. of who you are. Yeah. Once you get beyond that, then you have complexity holding on to, yes. right? And that could be... I mean, you're, those of you who are in social media, like 150 followers, <laughs> like yeah, that's yeah. nothing. But it's it's when that whole alignment could begin to shift. I think he was talking. I, I think he was talking more of like a 
a close knit group of 150. Yes, so he totally in your was. business organization, we're talking like 150 employees, right? Or, 150 or in your or, or in your book club that we were just talking about, mm-hmm. if it grew more than 150 members within that book club, things tend to get messy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Politics and and different opinions, opinions and, and interests and perspectives start yes. to start to influence the group mm-hmm. and um, things at that point start to kind of deteriorate. Yes. I think that's what he was, he was. I would agree. He was pointing on now Facebook followers and followers you have on social media. I, the more the merrier. Yeah. The right? more the merrier. Exactly. <laughs> and, and I, and I think they're more observant than they are actually interactive interacting yes. or having any type of say with within right. your organization. I'm yeah. Glad you said that. That was good. So, and he even goes so far to explain, and I appreciate this, a real life situation where that limit of 150 works. And it's, yes. I believe, called the Gore Associates Group. And it's a business and they produce yes. like, something in the plastic realm, um, I believe. Well, Gore, they, they're actually the uh, the manufacturer of Gore-Tex, which is a, it's actually yes. a fire resistant, very durable fabric. Um, and they do a lot in the government space as well. They supply mm-hmm. a lot for our military and stuff like that. I yeah. That. Probably and know that's more about that. That's probably, yeah. And that's why yes. within government, because B Chic LLC, we have B Chic Pro. That's mm-hmm. exactly what we spot. We do everything with protective gear. Um, and we so supply the military <laughs> and the DOD and DLA. Anyways, but with that, I know about Gore Associates. So yes, um, they've grown immensely. And I did not know that they hold on to the 150 rule. They do. I thought that was fantastic. The Gore, Gore Associates is a billion dollar company. Okay. And they've got manufacturing plants all, all over the, the world. world. Right. And so to hear that they purposely make their manufacturing companies stay under 150 employees kind of per because plant. of, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, per plant because of the thing that we're talking about is it gets a little convoluted as far Mm -hmm. as interests and who 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 helps who who answers to who Mm -hmm. and actually talk about who answers to who they did not have they don't even have titles everybody's an associate they did not have an organizational chart they don't have a hierarchy they just everyone has kind of very minimalistic um furnishings in their office nobody has the presidential office or the important office actually i think the four corners were all conference rooms so there you yeah. go. And they and they purposely made it where it was an even playing field for everyone. And they did that on purpose because they found the synergy works better within that organization if you keep it under 150 and everyone is treated the same. And I like that where they when they build a building, construct a building, yeah. they only put 150 parking, parking spaces. Spots. And they said when yeah. they see people parking on the grass, they know it's time to make another building. And they know it's time to make another <laughs> I thought that building. was great. So power of context So what I think he was really saying is when you have a tight knit group of people that's part of your same vision, that can help fuel things in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And you just really need to make sure the environment that you set up is good for your business or idea to be able to grow. And And I think um, all of that comes back to know your why. If you know your why of why you want to start anything and accomplish anything, so if it's to start a business or it's accomplish a goal within your business, knowing your why, you're going to be able to make sure your context is aligned where it needs to be. So in Gore Associates, I'm pretty sure somewhere along their why was they wanted to make sure that the synergy and balance was equal in all through their organization or all through their their um, lifestyle of that company. Um, and they achieved it. They make they sure did. it doesn't go over 150. And I know they achieved it because it's one of the statistics saying that they uh, they have a, a one-third retention on employees. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, which is amazing. That is really good. Yes. Yeah. I'd actually like to see an updated statistic now because everyone yeah, seems to be quiet quitting. 24 years ago. I just, I really loved wrapping my head around a methodical way to grow your business. Oh, so if you want a methodical way, I actually think his rules are a bit backwards. 
you were saying that. Yeah. I was saying that. Uh, you got to know your context. I So know your, your why, know yes. your context. Yep. You know, so you need to know what product you're selling and you need to do enough research in order to make sure that, you know, your pro- what the product you're selling is valid. Then you need to make it sticky, right? Which means go ahead and get a poll out there, do some more research, figure out a way to make sure that product is 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 sticky enough to re- people to remember, and right? Action. And remember an action in action. So mm-hmm. I, I said in the last episode, go ahead and pull 10 people. And if all of them, if, if, if you're seeing repeated feedback to you from those 10 people and it's 20% of the questions that you answered, well, then, you know, you need to focus on that 20%. Mm-hmm. So taking 80, 20 in the rule. And then Again, the third one is going to find be your people, find your connectors, find and your, your people and get that and get that product out there. Mm-hmm. So now you have your why your context, your viable product. You made sure that your product is sticky, making sure that you're answering the questions and and, and addressing the concerns of the people you polled, right? Split testing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So now you're making sure you double down on viable product. (laughs) Now you can go ahead and and, and put it to market. Get your salespeople. Yeah. Get your salespeople and and put it out there for sale. And if you yeah. balance all that right, the right factors of context, yeah. the right stickiness, help them apply it to their life. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. And we guys, we're actively doing this too. Watch us grow. Watch us grow. I like that. Yeah. Watch, Watch us grow, grow. Yes. because that's we everything we're reading, we're using it to elevate our mindset Ourselves. on business. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, sometimes I feel the word elevate is misconstrued. Like if we're not, we're below and beneath. No, I don't really believe that. When you're taking an elevator to go up, you're just making a vertical movement upward. And that's what I think we're doing. We're here to educate ourselves and elevate our mindset to the next level. So watch us, join us on this journey and watch us grow. Yes. And help us grow. Yeah. By liking and subscribing, please. And Um, and sharing. Really share in comments. We want to hear from you, but share like... What did we say today that somebody you know could really benefit from? So, yes, please share. Cheers. Thank you guys for joining. See you next week. Bye.